Young fathers catch a lot of comparisons to TV on the radio for the tangy fusion of rock, funk, hip-hop, soul, and actually quite a lot more. Mind you, I don't think that description quite does their music much justice anyways. And in fairness, while that sort of thing is difficult to come by, so of course you're gonna get those comparisons, I feel as if young fathers are still doing their own separate thing. On this one, get ready to hear that gospel. Young Fathers, the Scottish Madman Trio, have released a short album, which may be of underwhelming length. And underwhelming is right, considering how undercooked some of these tracks are. It's like they all have the hypnotic production to carry them for ages, but they leave us hanging like a bad high five. The beat on See How sounds like it's made of steel and being lifted and dropped constantly, then swung around to make the screechy sound I make when I turn my chair too fast. Fifi has such a wonderful lo-fi drum track as the members sing hauntingly over pianos that sound as if they were played back on old cassette tapes. But the song ends before it really gets the chance to venture anywhere with this fantastic and eerie atmosphere. I'd say the same for Wire and Tremolo too. A lot of Coco Sugar's attempts at songwriting are akin to leaving the cocoa and sugar undissolved. You could, however, find yourself spellbound by the snare rolls on Picking You, with bagpipes in the background that don't make me want to spin kick a Christmas tree a la Neutral Milk Hotel. It's a closer that leaves me thinking there was far more potential to this project than I heard actually being used up, and at that point, I'm kinda sad to hear it leave. Especially considering the peaks of this album are among some of the best that Young Fathers have done, if not THE best. I'm talking the utterly gorgeous lore that sounds like dystopian gospel with cracks of light pouring through or a robotic pastor about to spontaneously combust. Toy is a frantic rush for survival and believe me, by the point the chanting comes in during the bridge, I am believing every word and clapping, both out of loving the rhythm and being absolutely impressed. Yes, yes, yes. Yet the tallest pedestal in this disheveled temple is, in my view, perhaps the group's best song to date, leaving me awe-stricken every time the tense drone builds and even thickens over the course of the track, and sporting a hook so catchy that I can't help but yell it at this point. Plus the nearly sorrowful beauty to the line, I wanna be king until I am, at the end, leaves me wanting to start the track over just to hear some kind of closure to the song, especially considering the rest of the album just doesn't really do such. Well, it turns out that Young Father's latest album is actually quite quite good, a 6 out of 10 perhaps. It may have the closure of a half-finished Play-Doh statue, but even Play-Doh has its interesting colour and shapes. That's a stupid analogy, and maybe the album is better than I'll make you think it is.